Hello and welcome back to my channel, Angelia's Hobbies. Today I am doing the voiceover for March 7th through the 13th and I am using a, another kit from the bundle that came out last year from Scribble Prints Co. And as soon as I saw this kit, I automatically knew that it was going to be put in March sometime. It is Spring Cottage Core Vibes. I kept the foil that came with it. It was a rose floral bundle, and I absolutely love how everything turned out. I love the fashion girls in the kit, and this is Darcy Dubois art, I believe, and pretty much everything she's done, I have really loved, so happy that she drew a kit for that bundle. And I did have to put one day extender on Wednesday because that was a pretty busy day. The sidebar is full of full boxes, which I absolutely love. I didn't do date covers. I just did the deco. And I think that is everything that I have to talk about about the base, I'm pretty sure. Um, not too many, let me see, not really too many um, highlights for the week. Just a pretty normal, boring week. But over the weekend, I did do a lot of, read a lot of audiobooks that were on Kindle Unlimited because I did participate in a, a readathon, the Kindle Unlimited readathon. It happens once a month and it happens um, usually two days, but I usually make it the whole weekend. And yeah, other than that, I mean, I really had no other reason to use this kit, but as soon as I saw it, like I said, I just knew that it had to be in March because of the green. And I really do like the rose with it because of the pink in the, in the kit. And I don't love purple, but I think it looks really good. Another thing that happened this week was I spent the whole week organizing my stickers and I think I did finish it up on Saturday. So I spent one whole week doing it. Um, let's just say I should have probably stretched it out a little bit more because my whole body was hurting and I was from like being hunched over doing it. But I am still really liking it. The way I did my sticker storage, I just decanted them all into one big sticker book. Um, I do have a little bit of problem with like the matte stickers not really sticking on there. So I'm going to try to use those ones up first, I guess, because they do like tend to come off easier. But the other stickers that I have, the premium matte ones. So this would just be like regular matte stickers really are the ones that are not sticking. But the premium matte ones, the vinyl ones and the glossy ones are sticking pretty well and yeah that took a whole week but I got it done um and I think that's all I really have to say I did work four days back to my four days this week so I will get into the day by day now so on Monday I marked that I had an appointment a Zoom appointment as per usual. I did some tidying up and basically spent a lot of the time, well, not too much time, but a little bit of time um, organizing my stickers. And I did not have any more organizing sticker, organized stickers scripts. So I used put stickers away scripts and play with sticker scripts. So I organized my stickers a little bit more. I uploaded a YouTube video and then I did some reading before work. I absolutely love that reading sticker from Paper and Milk. Um, I know Kirsten does too and a lot of people do love that sticker from Paper and Milk. It is just so adorable. Then I marked work with a deco piece from the kit and then I had a YouTube binge that night. 
And I did pull in some regular rose gold from Planahanna if I had the scripts and rose gold icons, but most of the things did come from the kit. And then I marked that I had an appointment. That script is from Carly Plans and the laptop is an older sticker from Carly Plans. Then I did a lot of the time organizing stickers this day. I cooked dinner before work and as per usual, it snowed before I went to work. And then that night, we ended the night, me and my fiance, his nights off are Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So we ended the night finishing pieces of her. Honestly, the last episode was not my favorite. And I do remember falling asleep during the last episode. So wasn't really my favorite. I'm not sure if it was just boring or if I was just tired. But yeah, did fall asleep during that last episode. But all of the other episodes were pretty good. And then on a Wednesday, I marked another appointment with a cell phone from the foil bundle in the same script. We went to the library. As per usual, I cleaned upstairs and then our new chair got delivered. I do not have, I do have a chair sticker now, but at the time I did not have any chair stickers. So I just used a couch sticker from Carly Plans. I organized my stickers some more. I got a new book in the mail. I shop on this app. It is called Pango Books and I absolutely love getting used books from there. So I got a book from Pango that day, did a YouTube binge, and then we had some leftovers for dinner. And then that night we watched some Hulu and I sat in the new chair just watching Hulu. Um, and then I just marked that my son would not sleep. He just kept coming downstairs every couple of minutes. And so I think I actually ended up having to sit with him until he fell asleep and then came back downstairs and watched more Hulu before I went to bed. So then the last thing was I was tired as F because I had to keep going up and down the stairs trying to get my son asleep. Um, and then on Thursday, first thing in the morning, I had a YouTube binge and watched some Hulu that day after my fiance woke up. Just had a lazy day and picked up some groceries before I went to work. So I have the grocery pickup sticker from Planahanna and the grocery bag from Paper and Milk. Then I marked work using a square box again and a deco piece. And had some more leftovers for, for dinner and ended the night reading. Then on Friday, for some reason, there was no school that day. I'm not really, not really sure why. And then as I said at the beginning of the plan with me, it was the Kindle Unlimited Readathon. So I put KU Readathon with the Kindle sticker from Carly Plans. I had a backache that day and then I marked Aunt Flo with a sticker. Aunt Flo and backache are from Plana Hannah and the two two icons that I marked that are from Carly Plans. Then I marked that I did some cleaning with a dishwasher from Once More With Love, I think. No, um, a dishwasher from Carly Plans as well. And then I was able to spend just a little bit of time organizing my stickers that day before work. We had Wendy's for dinner and then I just marked that I had a lazy night. Look at all those things on Friday. So happy and proud of myself for fitting all those things in there. Then on Saturday, another lazy day and I finished putting away my stickers. And then I did some tidying up. That tidy up script is from Kenzie's Creations, which I believe is she was open for a little bit. But then she ultimately did decide to um, permanently close her shop. And that uh, like bucket cleaning bucket is from Scribble Prints Co., and then I cooked dinner that night and we had a movie night. I believe this movie was turning red because I don't have it marked anywhere in my planner. My other planner also says movie night, but I'm pretty sure it was. Um, my son didn't really pay attention to it. So I know there is some what people say are inappropriate topics, but I thought the movie was pretty good and funny. So um you know, with anything, watch it before you 
like your kids watch it if you want to. Um, my kids don't really pay attention to movies that much. Mainly it was a movie I wanted to watch. So I made my fiance watch it with me and the kids were kind of just there. They don't really, they don't really pay attention, especially my son. I don't even think he was in the living room. So, um, but if, if he did watch it and he had questions, I would just answer the questions. Um, I don't believe in, you know, shielding your children from certain things. And the main character in the movie was 13 years old. So, um, I don't know, just the things that I've seen, I, I can't find them again because like, I just, I didn't save them, but I did see some like posts on Instagram saying that it wasn't appropriate and not to let your children watch it. Um, your kids are going to watch a movie or read a book. Even if you keep it away from them, they're going to find a way. I'm just going to end it with that. Um, and then ended the night with some reading sprints. Then on Sunday morning, I did some reading and cleaning and it was a pretty nice day out. So I took the kids to play outside. The play outside script is from Plana Hannah. I did a grocery run. That sticker is from the bundle and the grocery cart sticker from paper and milk. I used a lot of paper and milk this week. And then I cooked dinner that night and had some TV time and stayed up pretty late watching TV. I don't know what I was watching to stay up late. Something on Hulu. Maybe a moon. Um, maybe I watched TV Hulu with my fiance and then I was just up late having a lazy night after he went to work. So here is what is left over from the kit. Plenty of leftovers for my B6 planner. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day or night whenever you're watching this and like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.